Hello everyone, this is Global Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet, I would really appreciate your support. Today I'd like to talk to you about Chanel jackets. There are a lot of myths about them. Besides, our subscribers often ask me about sewing such jackets. I'm going to tell you about vintage Chanel jackets made in 60s and 70s. You will learn how they were sewn and how they look like today. I saw them with my own eyes in vintage stores in Paris. I had an opportunity to examine them thoroughly. I had a very close look at the pockets and the other details. It was a pleasure for me. I'll share with you my thoughts about the vintage jacket. I'm also going to show you some modern Chanel jackets sewn in 2009-2010. Have a look at this book. Its title is Chanel 2001-2010. As for the last collections, you can find them in the Internet. They are very different. I can put the book aside. I'd like to start with the vintage jackets. I've decided to tell you about them, because I feel sorry for Chanel brand. A lot of people think that Chanel style jackets have a round neckline, a button stand, four flap pockets and sleeve buttons. But it's not true. I want you to understand that there is a great variety of Chanel style jackets. However, I'm going to talk to you about the design later. I'd like to start with the sewing. Have a look at the book. I'm happy that I had an opportunity to buy it. The tailors of my fashion house and I made a review of it and we realized that we use different techniques. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the video on this CD, but I can show you some pictures. Have a look at this jacket, made in 1967. A stand collar, a button stand, four patch pockets, a vent running from the shoulder, and buttons sewn in the center sleeve. There are a lot of pictures of vintage jackets in this book. These jackets were made in 1960s. Amazing! These were sewn in 1990s. These jackets were made in 1970s. They are all vintage. Speaking about the jackets I saw in the vintage stores in Paris, all of them had second pockets, because they were not doubled with the interfacing material. Nowadays, when people talk about sewing haute couture garments with the handmade buttonholes and so on, they do not realize that the vintage garments were made using the opportunities that sewing industry had at that time. There was no interfacing material. That's why the organza tape was used instead. The bottom of the jackets were not strong enough. That's why Coco Chanel invented sewing a chain to a bottom. Nowadays, there is no need to make a bottom of the jacket stronger and heavier but sewing chains. It can be doubled with the interfacing material, which makes it strong enough, 
and the jacket keeps its shape well and doesn't sag. Nowadays you can buy a Chanel jacket sewn in 1970s. It costs about 1000 euros. I've seen such jackets. But even if you purchase it, you can hardly wear it now. I think that just the collectors purchase such garments. Let me show you some pictures of the vintage jackets. Most of them do not have shoulder pads. The shoulders are sloping and the pockets are sagging. The bottoms are sagging as well. I doubt people sew such jackets nowadays. A lot of jackets are made of tweed, doubled with organza, which is stitched with the sewing machine. Have a look at the wrong side here. The organza tapes were stitched with the sewing machine, both on the lengthwise and crosswise grains. And the seams can be seen on the face. All of the organza tapes were stitched with the sewing machine. I can prove it, because I've seen it with my own eyes. As for the buttonholes, some people suggest making old couture garments with handmade buttonholes. I think it's the same as to suggest riding horses instead of driving cars. It's a weird suggestion. Why make buttonholes by hand when you can use a buttonhole machine? I don't see the reason to make handmade tweed and handmade buttonholes. I've seen such buttonholes, and I didn't like them. I can definitely say it. I'd like to debunk the myth that this is an haute couture technique and they still make jackets the same way. It's not true. I'd like to tell you about this detail. Sewn to an underarm. As a constructor, I can see this third detail. The lines are straight and the detail is flat. When making a two-seam sleeve, it gets a special form when we stitch the two details together. This detail does not affect the shape of the sleeve. I can guess that in some cases, this detail was used to extend the width of the sleeves. The pictures I showed you have description. It is stated that some sleeves have two details, and some three details. There is no special rule that the sleeve should have three details. I've also been to Chanel brand store, and I've seen their last collection. All the jackets there have two-piece sleeves, not three-piece sleeves. I want to debunk the myth that the original Chanel jackets are quilted with organza by hand. It's not true. Even the vintage jackets that are popular among the collectors are doubled with organza stitched with a sewing machine. The tailors of my fashion house went through the book and said that we use better techniques. Have a look at the way the sleeves are sewn. They are edged by hand and the order of actions is different. I wanted to not be afraid of experiments. Stop thinking. Start sewing. Otherwise, you will have nothing to wear. Have a look at this pocket stitch from the bottom. It's also sagging. The shoulders sag as well, because they are not doubled. The lines are soft, the shoulders are shapeless. Have a look at the pocket. It's not doubled. Fortunately, nowadays we can use the interfacing materials of the very high quality. There was no such opportunity earlier. 
That's why the pockets are sagging. And the shoulders as well. Have a look at the chain sewn to the bottom. It's sewn by hands. Have a look at this picture. This is exactly how those vintage Chanel jackets look like. I believe that we can't stop the progress. Nobody wants to ride horses instead of driving cars. Nobody wants to make buttonholes by hand instead of using the buttonhole machine. I am glad to have an opportunity to use modern materials and equipment. I'm sure that if they had existed earlier, they would have been used. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Next time we'll continue working about Chanel jackets. I'll show you more modern collections. Be different and beautiful. My name is Irina Paukšte. Buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.